Oh, hello. Hello again. Uh, and welcome to, to the webinar about how to upgrade Midpoint with Ninja. So let's go through the agenda. Uh, our agenda is pretty short and hopefully we will not spend too much time in, in, in the slides. So at first I'll go through some overview, what we've done, uh, how Midpoint can be hopefully upgraded uh, with a little bit of help with Ninja. Then we will do a bunch of demos well, where I will show you how uh, Ninja can be used during the upgrade procedure. Uh, then there's a slide, few slides about uh, tips and tricks. Uh, I'll go over a few, few notes that are not mentioned in, in the documentation or for example, uh, are maybe not that obvious. Then one of the last things is some things about future of future of Ninja, future of, of the tooling around Midpoint, and we will close up with Q&A. So uh, as for the overview, so our goal in last few months was to simplify Midpoint upgrades. As we all know, upgrading Midpoint is quite a complex task. It, it takes a lot of time and preparation. As, uh, and it, it depends on how complex the environment is. Our goal was to help the administrators and, and users that are uh, deploying Midpoint or customers that are, that are using Midpoint to simplify the whole process. We've added multiple commands, new commands to the Ninja. We improved uh, logging and reporting in the Ninja uh, with the main focus on the deployments of Midpoint that, that are using native PostgreSQL repository. And we were also able to backport most of these features uh, to the Ninja or to the Midpoint versions even a little bit back. So uh, even current LTS 4.4, 4.7, and 4.8 do have the, the new capabilities. I mean, the command line tool Ninja contains these capabilities. The versions are mentioned on the slide. So since 4.4.6, 4.7.2 and 4.8, uh, there are new uh, commands available in Ninja to help you upgrade the your environments. Uh, on Right now, I would like to show you how, how easy it is to upgrade uh, simple deployments uh, like uh, very, very simple POCs or, or your local environment. So Ninja can help with that quite quite a bit. Let's uh, switch to some terminal. Hopefully you'll be able to see it. Right now, I, I do have a local installation of Midpoint. Closer. Uh, this midpoint is 4.4.something, 7, not yet released. Let's see the version. So we are currently in, in, in my uh, demo environment or local environment. I'm running uh, empty vanilla midpoint. Uh, this, this first demo will be super quick. I'll just show you how to update or upgrade the very simple installation. So this is vanilla midpoint, the previous LTS. We can also confirm the version with via Ninja. Okay. So we see we are on 4.4 Ninja. Now I'll, I'll stop our midpoint. And to upgrade, I would say clean installation of, uh, of midpoint right, right now, the only thing that's necessary is is to start Ninja with command upgrade distribution. Uh, I've, just, I've just put here a bunch of optional options to to go on with the with the my directory structure. And uh, this command will uh, upgrade the database schema. Uh, it will update the installation folder. It will replace the shell scripts. The, the jar files and everything, and uh, later on, we will also update initial objects. So right now, uh, 
there were there was some validation. Uh, Ninja at, at, in the beginning of the procedure checked uh, all nodes in in my cluster. There's only one node, and checked for the current versions of Midpoint. And th this does not currently match the properly released version, so it it, uh, it failed for now. So there's option to skip this. For our demo, this is the good way to go. Uh, obviously, if there are uh, there are nodes in your cluster that have different versions or something, then that should be resolved before before continuing. Uh, William, uh, sorry that I yeah. I got into it, but there is a comment in the chat. If you could increase the Pulse. terminal font size. Yeah, I can try my bet. Let's see. Oh. If we can see it a little better. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, Thank of course, you. no problems. I didn't notice the chat. Just give me a second. Could this be it? Uh, is it better? Let's see. Yeah, I think so. Awesome, awesome. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. So currently, uh, what Ninja did is it did the pre-checks. Well, we, we skipped the pre-checks, uh, the pre-checks uh, con uh checks a uh, version of the midpoint of each node and checks the version of the database schema that's uh, currently present in the database and then there's some verification process we'll go into more details later on but it will check all the objects in the repository this can also be skipped if there's a reason for it right now we're downloading distribution uh, from evolution servers uh, this should be done in a few seconds hopefully And it already executed upgrade scripts for uh, native Postgres repository to update repository and audit. Uh, then it uh, replaced files in the installation directory and created uh, some backup folder. And right now we hopefully have, a... let's check the Ninja version. We have midpoint 4.8. Uh, we still have to do something about the initial objects because those change as, as midpoint uh, midpoint new uh, new version of midpoint is released so there's also ninja command for it this will take a second it will do its magic and right now I'll again recheck so we have uh, midpoint 4.8 I'll start it to make sure start to show you that we were hopefully successful. Let's wait for a second. And there it is. So this is midpoint 4.8. So this was the upgrade of very simple environment. I didn't care much about the objects in there, about the configuration that might be deprecated. We'll go into details how, how that these kind of situations can be solved later on, but this is like the simplest way to upgrade your demo or, or POC or local environment. Uh, cool. Okay, this is 4.8. I'll shut it down for now. And reset the installation. So I can go back to slides. So let's go over 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 a few slides, and I'll show you a bit more or a bit more complex uh, demo of an upgrade of midpoint. So uh, to begin with, uh, the upgrade procedure I believe is somewhat similar in all, all environments. I mean the main parts of the upgrade. Uh, when new midpoint uh, release comes out, most of us review the release notes. Uh, we check for new new configuration, new options, new features. Also, uh, we uh, we do check uh, the changes and deprecated stuff, removed stuff. We also try it out locally. We, at least I'm speaking uh, about me. Uh, next steps. Next step uh, after the decision was made that we should upgrade our environments, our deployment is we start reviewing the configuration version somewhere 
so we review the configuration on our file system. This is like the main configuration of our um, environment. We also check the relevant objects to see or look for potential issues during or after upgrade. Uh, uh, for example, deprecated configuration, sorry, uh, configuration that might change or, or will be removed in, in the next version of midpoint. Uh, after some review, uh, we have to do the pre-upgrade of the configuration. We have to update the data if necessary, update the users or, or do some bulk task actions and etc. cetera. Uh, after that's done, we can proceed and uh, upgrade the database scheme or shut down the midpoint, shut down the service for a while, up the, up, upgrade the database schema, then upgrade the installation files if it's running natively locally as I had it. Uh, and then after that's done, we can start the midpoint and do some cleanup or post upgrade uh, changes if necessary. So finish up or wrap up the, the, the upgrade. What Ninja can help with uh, is uh, colored right now. Uh, well, Ninja will not do the work for you, but it will help you or assist you to, to help you to speed up the process so that you don't have to go through all of it manually through all of the objects of the configurations. Ninja will try to help you along the way. So review release notes, well, that's there's still no good enough AI that we would do it. Uh, but for other steps, we have some assistance. Uh, that Ninja can help you with. So um, there are commands like verify that can help you go through the objects and configuration, whether it's on file system or, or in database, uh, to check for the state of the configuration. Then there are a bunch of other commands like upgrade objects, run SQL, uh, upgrade installation, etc. And, and all these will 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 have will help you upgrade your midpoint faster and and, and, and hopefully less painful. Uh, I will go through some of these commands very quickly through the slides, and then we'll jump to the demo where I'll show you how, how they can be used. So first one was verify. Uh, this command can help you review uh, objects or configuration that is on, on file system or in database uh, in midpoint repository. It can look for deprecations, uh, rem configuration that will be removed. Uh, it can check OID, for, for example, OID uh, format, because previously, a long time ago, there were objects or, or OID that did not have to be uh, in UID format, for example. Uh, this command can also create a report in plain text or CSV. Uh, and this one can be executed while midpoint is still running. So you are still running your midpoint in, in the old version. You can run this, verif this verification and you can review what's waiting for you in terms of upgrade issues or verification issues. And uh, then you can proceed when you're ready. Uh, Verification, of course, does not have to run on the whole data set or on, on the whole repository. You can pick and choose which parts of your configuration or data you would like to review, and you can use command line options for it. After the verification is done, you can go to the next step, and that means you can start updating or well upgrading the objects and configuration inside your midpoint uh, or uh, as well as uh, in your repository uh, on, on file system. Uh, all, all the objects and configurations that you have versioned and use, for example, in CI, CD uh, pipelines or, or, or something like that. This also can be executed while Midpoint is running, but you have to understand what changes you are doing and whether they whether it can affect your deployment, whether the changes are safe, for, for example. Uh, this one can also use the CSV report from the verification. We, we'll see about that a bit later. And of course, uh, as the previous one, as the verification upgrade objects command doesn't have to run on the whole data set. Uh, you can tell it 
we have different options that you want to Ninja to update or upgrade only specific items or specific objects or specific upgrade issues you would like it to fix. Uh, after you pre-upgraded or prepared your midpoint instance for the upgrade, uh, you probably will shut it down or you, you should shut it down and then you can upgrade your database for that. Uh, you there, There's a command that's called run SQL that will allow you to execute scripts, SQL scripts or, or that are bundled inside the distribution or any kind of arbitrary SQL scripts. Uh, this command uses by default config XML to connect to your database. Uh, if that's not available or you would like to specify some something else, then of course there are options to specify JDBC URL, username and password. And there are a bunch of other options that we that can uh, simplify even the command execution. You have to uh, search for the create scripts or upgrade scripts for the database or audit. There are options for it, and they will find the correct file in the distribution, etc. And then the last one, when your database was upgraded, database schema, then uh, you can proceed to update the files on the file system. And the distribution, so shell scripts, the libraries, jar files uh, that can be uh, upgraded via download and upgrade install, um, download distribution and upgrade installation commands. Uh, there's also the upgrade distribution composite command that will run multiple things in one step, which I show you in the uh, first demo in the quick one. And these commands can update your installation, uh, but they will not touch the midpoint home and they will not touch the config XML. If there are any changes that need to be done uh, in these two parts, uh, they have to still be, they have to be done, you have to do them manually. Uh, obviously this uh, this this whole whole download distribution upgrade installation does not make sense in container environments. In there you, you just have to pull, uh, uh, pull a, a new image. Uh, one of the la mostly last steps, even though the preparation can be somewhere in the beginning, is to update uh, initial objects. Uh, initial objects are a bit more complicated because the changes may come from two sources. One is the the changes that are coming from the new release, so changes that was made, that were made by Evolve on team. Uh, and the second set of the changes uh, comes most often from the customization of the deployment. And therefore, through the upgrade, you have to check what you changed, what changed, what was changed by, by, by Evolve on, and you have to somehow merge it together and make it work. So. Uh, in here, the basic uh, diff does not work uh, since the container uh, container identifiers may not match. Uh, and even in the previous versions of Midpoint, we did not have container IDs in our objects in our configurations specified. They were cre they were created um, uh, on the fly as the objects were uploaded to the Midpoint or import it to the midpoint. So we implemented uh, some kind of merge algorithm that is doing natural merge. So based on the context of the configuration on specific configuration parts, it tries, tries to figure out uh, how to put together two sets of changes and make the object work. Uh, there's also option to, to execute a dry run, of course, and, and do some reports. Uh, and that should be, of course, used. And one note is that, and it's also mentioned in, in the release notes for, for the new LTS, is there's at least one object, which is called security policy, that has to be imported uh, to midpoint because it contains uh, authentication sequences and, and some new configuration. Uh, and without it, you would have a problem connecting to your midpoint 
for example, the arrest. So therefore, this uh, security policy ha has to be checked or reviewed. Uh, by default, you you will be able to connect, log into the midpoint via uh, via UI, but uh, REST services and others would not work. If I remember correctly. Uh, so let's go to the second demo. Let's see. So this was probably restarted my previous demo. So we should be back at uh, running old midpoint. So we're again, this is the clean version, vanilla, vanilla, vanilla version of midpoint 4.4. We can also confirm uh, on uh, in the ninja. So we are running for the four midpoint, and I'll show you the file structure. So this is our working directory. Here we have our very simple midpoint deployment. This is just pure vanilla midpoint without anything. I've also created some fake midpoint studio project, which contains a bunch of files. Doesn't matter what's, what's in this configuration because it's not anything specific. Uh, we are simply uh, trying to upgrade the, the, upgrade our installation. So the these objects uh, for, for these purposes contain a lot of upgrade issues. They are not complete. This is not a uh, real deployment stuff. This is just... Uh, Half empty objects, but they contain a lot of uh, configuration parts that will be deprecated or will be removed or etc. So we will use this as a, as a to, to showcase the uh, verification and, and other stuff that I've mentioned through the slides. So there's the okay. So let's import and. Um, our project to, to our midpoint. So right now, the state of our deployment is we have a midpoint 4.4, which contains a bunch of objects that obviously will have a problem during the upgrade. We also have them, as, as it's probably usual in, in this project, we have some kind of Git version uh, studio project containing uh, our objects. So, uh, as I mentioned earlier, we should start reviewing uh, files on the file system that are versioned in, in the Git. Uh, our, we should start review, to review our studio project before we will try to upgrade from 4.4 .4 midpoint to 4.8, so LTS to LTS upgrade. So we can start with uh, running a command called verify on our files. This will print out that we have uh, different types of problems in our uh, in our files, in our configuration. There are critical, necessary, and optional items and two unknown. Critical, critical priority means uh, these have these issues have to be fixed because new version of midpoint might not start. The, 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 these are pretty severe. Uh, the necessary priority means midpoint will start, the new midpoint after upgrade will start, but some features may not function correctly. And optional are, for example, deprecated or planned rem that, or configuration or data that will be removed sometimes in the future. So we have to keep eye on this. But what what's really matter is the critical and the necessary ones. So let's see what verification report created. Uh, verification report verification command created two files. I'll show the delta first. This is just pure XML containing all the data or delta uh, with changes that Ninja would like to do in case we are trying to update those objects. So to get rid of the deprecated or other bad configuration, somehow update the objects. So this is mostly for some uh, 
later on for, for processing if necessary. Or if you would like to see the real details on what Ninja thinks we should do about specific objects. Uh, the better report in this regard is the CSV file, which contains number of columns. Uh, first three identified objects, so OID, type of the object, and name of the object. Then there are columns like status, which gives you the status of the of the verification or upgrade issue. So it could be warning or error, and then the pointer to the specific part of the XML configuration file uh, where the problem is located. So the item path, a uh, very short message, uh, like validation message, whether it's deprecated, planned for removal. This is mostly read from the from the schema. And then there are few columns that are direct, directly directly related to the to the upgrade. And then there's a identifier which identifies upgrade issue. So for each type of issue, there's specific identifier for it, which can be later on used uh, when filtering objects you would like to update or upgrade or specific items in, in these objects. Then there's a phase which describes when the issue should be fixed. Uh, most often it's before, therefore before upgrade, all these should be fixed. Uh, and of course it depends on the priority. So as I mentioned earlier, there's a critical, necessary and optional priority. Uh, the main one is the critical because midpoint might not start after upgrade if there was upgrade issue with priority critical. Uh, then there's upgrade type. This column will tell us whether Ninja can do about this uh, about these issues by itself. So in case there is a seamless type, it means uh, that Ninja can fix it for us. So we can just uh, yeah, tell it to, to update the objects and Ninja will figure it out how to do it. Then there's a preview, which means Ninja will give us uh, some hint how, how it should be fixed, but uh, it, we should review it and, and understand what, what is happening and we should apply apply the change. And, and then there is a manual, which means Ninja was only able to uh, list it in this report and that's it. Uh, there's also some kind of description, which gives you in this case, uh, the reason what, about what's the, what's the problem with with this with this concrete concrete issue? So in this case, subtypes should be replaced by ar archetypes. But this this thing, this issue cannot be fixed autom automatically or magically by Ninja. And the last column is used specifically in the next step, and it can allow you to skip specific items. If this uh, CSV file is long. Uh, you can through through the, for example in you can review it in in Excel and you can fill out uh, what what do you what would you like to skip when updating the objects. Uh, therefore, it can be used something something like this. So let's for the purpose of this demo skip all the critical issues. So what you can do is. You'll, and obviously this is faster in Excel, but well, let's go there. There are four issues, so I mark them as skip. So, so Ninja will skip them uh, when running the next command. And since we reviewed all, all our issues, we are, let's say, satisfied with them. We skipped or we, we don't want Ninja to update any of these critical ones, we can uh, execute command Ninja upgrade objects on our file system and use our verification file as an input. So um, there's uh, one warning when updating files and that's uh, about uh, or some kind of um, note or notification that a Ninja will process all those files and it, while parsing it, it will remove the XML comments and change formatting. So 
we'll agree. And hopefully we will see IntelliJ. Uh, our Git version files have changed, so there are changes. And uh, we can check it by running verification again so to, to see what has happened. Right now, we still see four issues critical. I think 20 went down to one, and optional are, well, just one, one down. Uh, we can also check the changes in this while running this demo like like this. So while I'll check the CSV files, we can see that we went down from 35 issues to 15 issues. Uh, and we can again review uh, review the, the, the problems by ourselves. Uh, I'm showing you this to to showcase the the way how how to do the upgrade or or to update your that you can update the objects in in an iterative manner so you don't have to like run everything through through extreme large bulk action and hope for that it will it will run correctly well that that's a way to do it but this can be done uh, in multiple smaller 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 rounds and you can always see what's what's happening for example so we still have here our four uh, for critical issues. Uh, we can now decide that uh, we would like Ninja to uh, fix our crit critical issues as well, because we don't know what to do about them, for example. So uh, I will, we will tell Ninja to run the, or update the objects, update, update our XML files, but only the ones that, uh, that have items with priority critical. Again, the notification. To see what we've done, I'll run verification again. Or well, what Ninja uh, done. Uh, in here, we will see that critical issues went, went away, but one one state and uh, the reason for it, it is it, because ninja cannot do anything about it uh, is the manual issue or the issue that had to be resolved manually and when we have a look at it it's in in the role and it's because of this one this uh if, if it if it's fixed correctly it should be fixed by implementing archetypes uh, uh, but for now i'll just comment it out because the point is not to play around with archetypes. And when we now run the verification one more time, there should not be any there should not be any critical issue. So we we are left with few optional and one necessary. So for now we can say it's okay. When we're satisfied with, with our changes, we can commit them to Git and maybe hopefully CICD will take care of it and will deploy them. If not, then we still have to use uh, Studio or upload those files to, to our midpoint. It depends on, on the deployment on and on the changes which were done on, on those files. So we still have to understand what Ninja da, did for us, of course. Uh, right now, what we can do is we can continue with um, updating the objects in repository. So let's run verification, this time without the minus minus uh, file option, because we would like to run verification on our repository. This will print out the same for critical errors and a few more necessary and optional issues, uh, because we've uploaded the same stuff that we have on file system. We uploaded it to repository in the beginning. Uh, since I don't want to show you the same steps or on how the 
uh, iterations can go with the very fine upgrade objects and, and, and so on and so forth. Uh, I'll run the upgrade objects uh, against the midpoint repository right away without any any filters or, or, or anything. Uh, so that we can check what was updated. And there will be still the one critical issue, and that's the role that have to be fixed manually, even, even the midpoint. But we still have here the the one critical issue, that's the role. Mm. So the obvious fix for now, simple one would be to import uh, our role that we where where we fixed the uh, critical issue. Well, this is a silly fix, but this is not a real environment, so we don't have to care about it, about it that much. Uh, final verification should show us that also our midpoint repository is now ready for the upgrade because there are no critical issues. Uh, we are satisfied with, with, with the verification. Let's see. It's the verify tool. Okay, here it is. So right now we see there are only a bunch of optional problems or verification items and unnecessary. For now, we can leave it like this. Obviously, if this was a production environment and, and complex deployment, we should go around this and, and understand what's the problem in there, whether we have to fix it, whether this will be OK for our deployment, even in upgraded version of Midpoint. But for now, we are good because we don't have a critical issues in here. Uh, so the next step is to shut down the midpoint. So we'll shut down our midpoint. Uh, the next step would be to download the distribution. But this will take a few minutes, so how fast it will go. So since we don't want to wait, spend time looking at the progress. Uh, I've already pre-downloaded the zip file. It's in my temp. So this is the one. Uh, now what we can do is we can run the uh, command that will upgrade our database schema to the new version. Uh, since we're running it manually and we don't we, currently we are not using the upgrade distribution command, we have to point it to uh, to the proper Postgres upgrade uh, SQL file. Run SQL will, will use command uh, sorry config XML in midpoint home to figure out how to connect to the database. Uh, it's done for the audit as well. Uh, the next step would be to upgrade our installation. So the whole upgrade distribution command can be split into multiple steps via uh, download distribution, uh, run SQL, and upgrade installation. Therefore, you can customize uh, the options if necessary, if, if it's... If it's uh, more reasonable to do, do it like this. Uh, right now, we should be able to confirm that our Ninja is already uh, at 4.8. Midpoint is not running, but all the libraries and shell scripts should be there. And we can confirm, I hope, that readmace 4.8 was there. News, maybe even these. Uh, they don't contain any kind of version. So uh, all these files were replaced. Therefore, the, the whole installation is now 4.8. Uh, the only remaining step is uh, we have to do something about the initial objects. Since we did not 
care about them until until now. So uh, I'll run the initial objects, but I'll run the dry run, or, or I'll I will run it with the dry run option. And right now we can see what Ninja would do with all those objects that are present in midpoint or that are present in our distribution as an initial objects. For example, for system configuration, there would be some kind of update uh, in, in the repository. Uh, for default password policy, there would be nothing because after the merge, no differences were found. Uh, then there's a check uh, or for objects that are not currently present in midpoint, but were added to the set of initial objects in the new version, Ninja will by default skip them because they will be added or imported to midpoint during the first start, as, as mentioned in here. Uh, of course, there are options like uh, force add, which will which would force force Ninja to add those objects right now, so that uh, it would they would not be added or imported during the first start of the midpoint. And then there's another good option which is called no merge. And this option, what what it will do is it will import the the object the new initial object to the midpoint with the rewrite option therefore it's just the replace of the whole objects no merging algorithm in there nothing so when you are sure or, or when you know that you did not change initial objects at all then this is the safe way to go because you will know that ninja will upload and replace all the objects necessary and you don't have to care about whether the merge was correct or whether Something happened wrong or whatever. Uh, as I mentioned in the slides, uh, we have to take care at least about the security policy. So I'll upload the security policy. And for all other objects, I will just uh, leave the ninja to do its magic. And right now, please, I hope I did not forget anything. Hopefully, hopefully this will be a midpoint 4.8. Uh -huh. Let's give it another second. Okay, still running, starting up. So there it is. What we get is 8.4.8. And we already had to have to fiddle with, with, with objects uh, that have hardware issues. Obviously, when, when, when doing this in your real environments, you still have to dig, dig more deeper into the changes that we made through the uh, verification and upgrade objects process and, and running between those two commands uh, we should understand what 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 it means to to have uh, to have a, a specific uh, verification items most of these are are described in some way or another in in the release notes uh, or mentioned somewhere in the documentation uh, that discusses what has changed when, when you will be upgrading the midpoint, but this is like a condensed way to look on your data or configuration to see what is waiting for you, what what what's what will be probably wrong uh, when doing the upgrade, what do you have to figure out how to fix or improve. So this is probably end of our demo. Let's jump here bunch of tips and tricks I, I would like to mention, or maybe some of them I mentioned or, already through the presentation. So uh, simple local deployments can use, can make use of uh, the upgrade distribution command because that can do three steps in one. Yeah, so if you have a local demo or POC or something that you don't worry about that much, um, then this should be pretty safe. So it will save you searching for 
uh, new distribution, searching for SQL scripts, updating the schema, connecting to the database, updating files, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. Uh, also, the run SQL uh, command can help you not only upgrade uh, midpoint schema in the Postgres database, it can also help you to set up midpoint. Uh, since we slowly are going away from the midpoint with with uh, H2 database. Where you didn't, where you didn't have have to do anything when starting midpoint for the first time for the POC or demo purposes. Uh, right now we have to connect to the Postgres, uh, so starting uh, PG admin or PSQL, uh, PSQL, uh, and search for the correct script and, and figure out the options to connect to the database. And and this can be simplified a bit. Uh, we are on SQL mode repository create. And this will use the config XML to connect to the proper database in Postgres and run proper scripts from our distribution uh, to create the database. Same for the audit. Uh, obviously, if config XML does not exist yet, you can use the optional uh, optional options uh, for for the for the Ninja and specify the the, the correct JDBC URL, username, and password. We also thought about the deployments that are in container environments. So Ninja can be executed or, or yeah, Ninja can be executed in, in Docker. Uh, you still have to use the midpoint image, uh, but it can be executed um, without starting or it can be, the, the container can be started without starting midpoint. And therefore you can run Ninja in the Docker, Docker environment or, or container environment as well. Uh, how to execute that specific command? It depends on, uh, for example, when you have uh, when you would like to run verification. It depends on where you can store, for example, the the results of the uh, of the verification, the CSV file. Whether you have some mounted folders, uh, or or there are some persistent storage or or something else. Whether it's in Kubernetes, so so the options may vary. But uh, as I mentioned, Ninja can run in Docker environments as well and can help you with with the, with the upgrade. Uh, obviously, Ninja will uh, is useless in terms of upgrading the installation. So, downloading the downloading the distribution or or uh, updating files that doesn't doesn't make any sense in in the container environment. So for the future, what we plan to do is uh, uh, currently Ninja does not help us with uh, connector refs in resources for the bundled connectors, uh, since they will the, the OIDs will change and therefore resources will have a broken uh, references uh, in, in, because in the new version of the midpoint, there are most often new version of connectors as well. And the old ones, the bundled ones, will not be there. So this is one of the issues that will be resolved, or we hope to fix it uh, in the short future. We also plan to uh, implement interactive upgrade wizard to guide you through the whole process uh, of the upgrade. Uh, of course, there are some plans to improve the merge algorithm, as there are still places uh, or parts of the configuration that is too hard to merge currently. For example, assignments or configuration that looks like assignment, inducements, for example. Uh, since there are like five types of assignments in terms of, of, of data structure, uh, we've also, and we already started to work on cleaner ver schema versioning. We've added new annotations that describes changes in our schema in our configuration. Uh, next thing on our plate or in our plan somewhere down the road is to add REST support for the Ninja. Therefore, it could connect to the midpoint, not only via JDBC connection, so directly to the database, but it could connect via REST. And one final thing is, uh, we would like to improve handling of secrets in Ninja and Midpoint because we understand right now that it's quite cumbersome uh, and, and 
even worse when we are using uh, Midpoint Studio because uh, Studio has uh, its own way of handling uh, passwords and secrets. Therefore, we would like to uh, improve the, the workflow in these areas as well. To conclude, Ninja right now in the in the updated versions of Midpoint can help you with the upgrade, uh, can help you with the setup of Midpoint, can give you much more insights in how your configuration looks like, what's the state of the configuration in terms of deprecation or, or, or parts of the configuration that could be changed or removed later on in the future. It can also help you to fix it for those specific cases. Uh, for more information, you can always go to the to, to our documentation. Link is down somewhere on the slide. Uh, 